And the stream. There we go. There we go. I wonder where I was at. There I go. Hold on. Oh, shit. We all, hold on. Y'all got to hold on. Y'all know I got to get my cup and everything ready for this one, boy. I've been waiting on this show, boy. I said, I've been waiting on it. Y'all see, y'all got the real good mic and everything. I ain't even got time to be waiting on these folks with my cameras. None of that, Jack. Hold on. Let me get my pad, though. Lord, I think I left it in the car. It don't really matter because I can see y'all over here. Hey, how y'all doing? How's it going? Y'all see my smile. Hold on. I, you heard it crack open a whole new celebration bottle. Whole new one. Whole new one. All right, y'all. Welcome to the show. I'm going to do my quick roll call because I think in the backstage, we got our guests. Our guests is waiting in the back room, in the green room. They say on the other shows, stay in the green room. All right. Quick roll call. Dice. What's going on, brother? What's going on? Carla Lewis. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Shane Johnson. What it do? J.O., as always. What's going on, brother? Jasmine S. Jasmine! What it do? My bo- oh, we can, we, can start, we can start. We can start the show now. We ain't got to keep doing a roll call. Y'all already know. Soon as I see Rodney Dinkins pop up, it's time to get the show started. That's my boy. Well, we can go and get this thing popping. TV, I knew you was going to be here. You was a huge, huge Briscoe fan. I'm talking about you might be the biggest Briscoe fan. I, you, you probably didn't go to work today. You probably knew it was on. You probably been sitting by the TV, the computer for the pad. Since I posted it, you probably been sitting there. You biggest, biggest Briscoe fan. Sean Terrence, what's going on? What's going on? Y'all know what? Uh, Tawan, what's going on? Y'all know what? I ain't going to keep our guests waiting. I'm just going to do this right here. Goodbye, y'all. Put it in there. There she go. I told y'all I ain't going to keep her waiting. Just put it in there. Good, good, googly, moogly, moo. Here we go. Hello. Oh, welcome to Rage Take, finally. Thank okay. you for having me. Before so excited we, to be here. Before we go any further, <laughs> say your name first. Who calling me? This is, this is a huge call. Don't call me. My name is Makaya Briscoe from Baton Rouge, Louisiana, born and raised. Currently living here now, training at LSU. So it's Makaya Briscoe. Makaya, yes. Mm-hmm. Makaya. You, you, I don't know if you know me, but I'm known for messing all y'all names up. I'm known for that. Just I that's why I wanted you to say it first because I was gonna call you Mickey. I was gonna call you Makia, um, oh Michael. God. You know, I, I be trying like I tell people it's my curse because my name is Monzavius. You know how many times people have messed that up? So now I just feel like my curse is to mess up everybody else's name. It looked like Mickey Barber, even though it say Mickey. it is not. <laughs> If you did kind of like, goom, goom, I'm like oh, that's a nigga Marble. After that, so Makaya. <laughs> What's going on? Man? Well, first and foremost, <laughs> let me do this. Let me get this out of the way. Congratulations Thank on you so much. everything that happened. Now, I got to first apologize. You know, I want you on the show. I told everybody, all right? Y'all know how I do my show. I'm going I'm to, damn it, I'm going to say what I say. I'm going to say what I feel. I'm gonna say what I think. It's your right? show. You can do what you want. Tell them, tell them again. Tell them again. Your show. So but I'm gonna you know, tell you. I'm gonna do what I gotta do too. You did it. That's why we <laughs> here. Because I was like, I'm gonna go and say it to you. Because in case you didn't see the show, you know how we do the show. How everybody do track and field. They breaking down. They giving they top this person, top that person. And I'm gonna be the first person to tell you. I counted you out, Jack. Didn't count you in. I'm sorry. All right. I'm gonna tell you why though. Hear my. Let me let me hear my piece first. Hear my piece first, okay? Because I didn't count you out, but I counted you out. I said, listen, y'all. I said, I know she can win USA's, but so can M. Beasel, okay? I said, I think the one thing that M. Beasel might have on her is a little chip, a little chip on the shoulder. That's what I said, now. That was exactly what I said. I said, I don't think, I don't think Briscoe can be able to do it round for round. It was the USA's. And then all of a sudden, kapow, you did it. I said, oh, shit, Jack, okay? Mm-hmm. All right, you know, yeah, I am. USA, it's two rounds. I'm like, when she get the world, I said, look, look, I said, when she get the world, she can do that shit three times. She can have to go PR, PR, PR. It's not that I don't think, and I literally said this, I said, it's not that I don't think that she's capable of running fast. After the first round, I said, I don't know if she can come back and do it again. And they did it again. I said, oh, shit. Okay, then after that, I was like, all right, child. I'm going to give y'all my final prediction. Then we're going to go through the race and all that. I'm going to tell you exactly what I say. I say, y'all, this is my final prediction. This is right before y'all ran. I said, I said, y'all, I wouldn't be surprised 
is that top three be Briscoe, Rihanna, Mary Bell? I said, I said it's either going to go one or two ways. This is exactly what I said. I said either it's going to be them three because Swabola going to choke or Swabola going to win and that might bump Briscoe down. That's what I said. Now, I'm telling you. I'm telling you straight oh, up. So you, and you I was, thought I was going to win. Well, I'm gonna tell you, it, I had two, and then I tell you, I had two versions. Oh, okay. <laughs> I had two versions. One version was you winning it, and the other version was you getting fourth. It wasn't like no one, two, three. It was like, well, either she gonna win it, or if she don't win it, based off of me just seeing the lane assignments, she might end up getting fourth. But right before, and the people in there, they'll tell you because they was in there, they was in the trap house. They'll tell you exactly what I said. Before y'all win, I said, okay, my final three is. In no particular order, Briscoe, M. Beasel, Brianna. Doing my final three. I said no particular order. That is them three. I don't know who's going to do what, but it's them three. And because one reason, because everybody kept saying, we didn't put it out there. The fan base had you now. I'm not going to say that. I appreciate the fan the base. The fan base had your back. Thank but I said, so ooh, much. ooh they working, roll. Like, Man, listen. Like, I haven't been working hard to run some PRs at Worlds. <laughs> Look, man. You know, I'm out there to put on the show. I'm not out there just to. <laughs> just to be there. <laughs> I have to give y'all a hard time. It's the same thing I did with Trayvon last year when he came out running fast. I don't believe you got to do a whole lot. I have to give y'all a hard time because, like I tell people, one or two things is going to happen. One, they're going to shut me up. Or two, they're going to prove me wrong. It's a win-win for them no matter what. <laughs> like, like It's a win-win. <laughs> it's a win-win. So i say it like this. I was thoroughly impressed by your performances. And the reason why I say thoroughly is because even as an athlete, I've been there. Sometimes when you got to do it over and over and over again after the first round, again, more probably on the show. Shout out to Mar. He 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 He's a huge fan. It kind of like with that with him. You know what I'm saying? It was like boom, boom, and then, damn, not the finals. It is hard as hell. Literally, I've been, to, you know, I've been there just like you. It's hard, and I ain't even been to that level of world championship in the finals. It's hard as hell to repeat every single again, like I was telling people, to Lou last year in USA. I mean, at, at Tokyo, I was like, shit, to Lou look good first two rounds. What happened in the finals? So that's why I was kind of like, it ain't that I don't think Briscoe got the wheels. She don't show she got the wheels, but she got to come back and be wheels on top of wheels on top of wheels. I don't know, y'all. But then you did it. And I was like, shit, I got to tell her I'm sorry. <laughs> to her face, like, oh, no, Jack, I'm sorry. I apologize from the depths of my soul because you was like, oh, that's how you feel, right? <laughs> All right, cool, cool. Before we get through this race, though, because I do want to take you, want be you to take us through it, and I'm going to play it so I can do my thing. I will say that when the gun went off, I literally said, oh, shit, they've been to go one, two. <laughs> like literally, I was like, "Oh shit, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go now, let's go now." And then all of a sudden, I was like, "Ooh, I think I didn't say Briscoe." I was like, "She, she in that thing." I think Mary Bell might have fell down to four. So I was sitting there just like this. Here. I was like, "Damn, damn, damn." Okay, they got second and third. Tell me this. I'm gonna ask you the same question I asked everybody else. You know what? Let me put the race up. <laughs> What's the question? <laughs> I want to go put the race up, but I'm just going to ask you. Uh, when you in the finals, right mm -hmm. before you got ready to get into the blocks, what was you thinking? Honestly, probably nothing. Because, I don't know, it's just like I ran the first round, ran the second round, and this is what I've been training, you know, for my indoor season for this one race. So mm -hmm. everything was done. All I could do is either – get out and do good or get out and do bad so my mind was just on running winning getting to the finish line first so you didn't have like no actual strategy it was just like gun go off y'all just had to get it just run, run <laughs> try to win <laughs> no strategy mm -mm. it it looked like that and the reason why i said it looked like that is because literally when the gun went off you was out of there. Now, let me ask you this. Did any of that have to do with, like, even at USA's, did any of that have to do with the fact that you knew that, okay, Mary Beth, you know, shout out to Mary Beth, she's also a great starter. 
Mm -hmm. Did any of that have to do with the fact of knowing she's right there? So I got to, I got to go. I can't play around. Well, not only was Mary Beth on my left side, I had some vote on the right side. So both mm -hmm. of them, I knew could get out there. So I felt like if I just got out in front of them, then I could have a good transition, come up and finish the race in front of them. So the goal was just to get out and hold on. And I felt like I did that really well, but I just didn't know. Was on, the, on the outside, of the, on the outside of the train. Hey, somebody said you look like Fred Curly at Tokyo at World Champs, looking at the scoreboard like, "What the hell just happened?" I thought I won. <laughs> like, no, nah, you didn't see Lane Eight over there. So, how did you? How did you feel like, like literally, like coming across the finish line? Did you feel like you had won? Honestly, yes. And then what made it even more feel more realistic was. Brianna came and gave me a hug. Mary Beth came and gave me a hug. So I'm like, oh. and then like I could see the time. 696 was like the first place time. So I'm like, did I just run that? And then like, you know, everybody started shifting to the other runner. So I was like, oh, maybe it wasn't me. But I didn't celebrate anything. I just felt like I had that feeling like, okay, it could have been me. But let me make sure I see my name next to first place first before I do any kind of celebration. And it came up second. So I was like, okay, well, I'm happy. But then I wasn't happy because I didn't win. But the time was good. But oh, I still yeah, didn't win. So it was a bittersweet kind of feeling mm -hmm, to see second mm -hmm. place. I'm going to ask you the hard question then. If y'all had to run, let's just do it like this. Let's take one round out. Let's take the first round out and say that that was your semifinal round, right? When she snuck y'all. If you had known of that sneak, do you think if y'all had ran a third round after that, you would have won it? Mm. So are you saying like she would have been in a different position, like in the middle mm -mm, of the race? Mm -mm. Like, cause it looked like to me, it looked like y'all forgot she was over there. <laughs> that, that what to me I that mean, what it looked like. You know when you when you run, you ran the hundred, right? Mm -hmm. You don't you feel like who's next to you, but you can't feel anything on the outside of you. All you feel is like yourself and your race, and you can kind of see what's on the side of you, but. After the lanes that's right on side of you, I, I didn't feel anything. I didn't see anything. I was focused on getting myself to that finish line first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like if y'all had to race again, you could get her? Knowing from looking at that race is pretty much what I'm asking. Like, if we line up again, Jack, in the 60 again, or even if you was closer to me, I probably would win. That That's really what I'm asking. Do you feel like... Because we all saw it. You saw it. She closed. And and mm -hmm. it was like when y'all was here yeah. fighting, she was still going. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so she wasn't right. in that fight. So that's my thing. Like, do you feel like if, if she had been closer to you, you actually could have won? I thought I would, I would have been competitive. Um, my body did something I'd never done before. So I don't yeah. know. Three times, um, Jack. But Damn. I think <laughs> I would have competed. Competed mm -hmm. really well. So. I don't know if I would have won, but I would have definitely competed. Yeah, completed competed a little better. T tell me about your LSU numbers. Give, give me those. Give me give, give me those for the people that don't know. Give so me your at college LSU, number. LSU, I did run the hundred, the sixty. I did hurdles, um, and relays. Um, in the sixty, I ran seven oh eight. In the hundred, I ran ten ninety six. Two hundred, I ran twenty two fifty nine outdoors. In the hurdles, I ran 12-8, and I think indoor, I ran 7-8 in the hurdles. So let me ask you this then. With everything you just said, I could say that's probably why a lot of people are fans of of, of yours. Um, And I even take myself. You know, I'm, I'm old, whatever, yada, yada, yada. <laughs> But I try and pay a lot of attention to track. So I know who you are, but I wasn't following you to the details of what of where I'm at now. Um, you know, mm -hmm. what do you think is some of the reasons why like um everybody wasn't like Briscoe, 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 Briscoe? You know, even me, because it's like I know she can run, but what what has she ran? What what do you think is is the reasoning for that? Do you think it's because you know you you haven't been like on like top threes at diamond leagues and shit like that or is it just like because i just show up do my job go home what because i mean because even with your resume you just said it's like bro y'all i'm in the top damn 10 and, and what are you talking about look, look at my numbers like you know what i'm saying yeah, it's it's probably a mixture of both um 
I don't know. I've run some good times, but also where I've run those times, um, I did run my 1096 at Nationals. I feel like mm -hmm. there was a little hype behind my name after that, but then mm -hmm. I didn't follow up on that performance. So, you know, I mm -hmm. had the hype and then it kind of died down. So that's all on me. But, um, what do you think? What do you think happened? Because I'm curious of that. Then what do you think happened to uh? Because I know exactly what you're talking about from USA. What, what What do you think happened to where you couldn't or you wasn't able to follow up that performance? So and the only reason why I'm asking you that is because it, it it seemed like you figured it out when you got the worlds because you followed up that performance. Mm -hmm. Well, that was my junior year of college when I ran the 1096, and you know that was like nationals. That was the last track meet, so I peaked for that track meet, and after that, my body was like, "Hey, we're done for the season." And then the following year, um, I just started doing different things. I added the 200 in. Mm -hmm. So I just felt like I didn't replicate what I did the year before to get that same performance. Mm -hmm. But um, since then, um, I've trained with different people, learned some things, learned about my body. Um, how well, my body if you don't mind me asking, who, who, shout him out. Who you train with? Who, who, who the hell the coach? Give him <laughs> his credit. Him, her, they credit for that so, damn silver medal. Yeah, I did move to um, California for a year and train under John Smith. And he taught me a lot about my technique, my body, um, how to feel when I run, um, just a lot. And I mm -hmm. credit him a little bit to um, the success that I have now. Then I moved back to um, train with Coach Shaver mm -hmm. at LSU, got my mm -hmm. speed back right. And mm -hmm. I feel like I put those two coaching, um, everything they taught me together. And now I feel like that's why I look like the runner that I am now. There it is right there, ladies and gentlemen. This is said I'll be trying to tell people all the time about my career and stuff like that. Sometimes there's coaches that are great at certain things. And then there's some coaches that are better at other things. What she pretty much just told you is, I'm going to say what she just said. No disrespect to anybody. I went to John Smith to learn the technical side of track and field because he's one of the greatest to ever teach it. Him and John Drummond both. JD got suspended. But anyway, and I took what I learned from him back to what made me fast and merge them together, and now I'm where I'm at now. I'm glad that you expressed that because I think that's one of the problems that a lot of athletes in track and field have. They are afraid to leave, go get help, and then even come back. Like, oh, well, now, nah, coach, it wasn't none of that. And it's just like, bro, I was struggling with my blocks. You, you ain't no block starter. <laughs> so, uh, and then one of the first people that I know that did that was was, was um, Tyson. Like Tyson would, would go back and forth. Like Tyson would be with JD, you know, for, you know, for like from June to like USA's to work on his start. But then he would be with Lance, you know what I'm saying? Because for that reason, like JD is a technical coach. He's a block start coach. Lance is a good speed coach. So it, it, it worked. So I'm glad that you said it and that you did that because I think that athletes and coaches alone, we need to stop having egos. To where we feel like an athlete is ours. Like, if you leave, I can't help you no more. You can't come back. So it's like, no, nah, bro, like, let's just keep it 100. Like, you made me fast, but JS can give me this. And then JS, like, okay, well, you got this? Yeah, okay, now you can go. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's dope that you that's dope that you did that. Yeah. So how you feeling going outside then? So what, what what's that looking like? Well, that 6'9 was definitely a confident booster. So um, I feel good. I feel like. It's just about me staying healthy, um, staying focused, tuning out distractions, and just mm -hmm. focusing on how I'm going to get from zero to 100 as quick as possible, technically sound. Um, I know when I get into like championship races, sometimes I just lose it. So it's just about practicing technically correct so that when those championship races come, my technique is already instilled in my body to where I can just execute it mm -hmm. without thinking. Why do you think you lose it at championships? Because I just like to compete. Damn, 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 boy, boy, you, boy, you, boy, you was a real ninja now. <laughs> you was a real ninja. <laughs> like, man, I'm tell you the truth, boy. I'm trying to win, Jack, and because I'm trying to win, I can't even focus no more, man. I'm trying to get this line, and then I forget. Damn, if I had a did this and did that, I'd have got to the line. Yeah. Shit, but. I'm ready to run, man. Look here. It's just straight street pole, street pole. I feel you 100% <laughs> on that. When I say I feel you 100%, I feel you 100%. Uh, okay. Um, so check it. You put up a post. Actually, I'm, you know, you know, I, I fight for y'all. That's kind of why I do race take. You put up a post. Now, we've, we've known this entire year that you and Mary Beth was unsigned. Like, everybody's known that. Everybody's like, what the fuck? What you mean? Both of them? Yeah, ain't that one of them got no money, Jack. Now, one of them. It, yeah, man, look, I, I'm telling you, they don't told y'all the time. They don't. So, 
you had said that one of the things you wanted to do was prove that you should be getting that money. Do you feel like you did that already? Mm -hmm. So first, okay. So I had a contract with Nike. The mm -hmm. reason why I don't have a contract now is because I didn't do what I was supposed to do to keep that contract. So it's not like they well, dropped you me. You gotta tell me. I know all. When I you know have all a about contract, it. they expect you to win. They expect mm -hmm. you to make teams, mm -hmm. and they expect you to run fast. And I mm -hmm. didn't do that, so that's why I don't have a contract now. So mm -hmm. I know in order to get another contract with anybody, I need to be running fast. I need to be making, getting medals, and winning basically. So I feel like my indoor season has set me up to do that. Um, I know most companies don't really. They look at indoor. But they're not, mm -hmm. you know, that's not where the money is. The money is in outdoor. Mm -hmm. So I know that my name is probably being brought up in conversations now, but I'm not expecting too much just because outdoors was important. And that's mm -hmm. what they're really going to be focusing on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Do you, hold on, I got to sneeze, y'all. Hold on. <laughs> Excuse me, there it went. <laughs> yeah. I ain't got COVID either now. I just had to make sure I tell that. <laughs> so do you feel like you in contention to be one of those three? I mean, I'm going to tell you, like I tell everybody, come on this show, man. It ain't but three spots. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it ain't but three. I mean, and it's I'm not way more to than three of y'all. Not in the top three, so. Come on, say it, say it. That, that, <laughs> show, boy, talk your shit, man. Don't be on here scared. Don't be out here doing it. I'm going to give you the questions, but then you pop, 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 shoot back at them folks, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? Hey, yeah. I'm going to tell you like this here. Based off of your indoor performance, you cannot be denied that you're one of the fastest females in America. Why? Okay, well, how many of y'all don't win 6'9"? That's a good question, though. How many do you know? Can you recollect how many USA females have went sub-7? I got a rough ballpark figure, but I'm just curious that you know. I'm not sure. Nah, guess what? You in an elite class, sister. <laughs> You in a class that's like, like right, right there. You damn near had the American record. So put that into perspective. You know you are, you do know you almost had the American record, right? I was almost there, but in the sixty, those hundreds of a second are really that's a big difference. So mm -hmm. it's there, mm -hmm. but it's not like it's right there. Yeah, what well, well, shit? I mean, I try and tell people all the time. <laughs> you know how far nine five and nine nine is? That right, shit's right. Four. I know they both say nine on the clock. And you think it one second, two seconds. You you on paper, clear like, difference. Oh, clear <laughs> difference. Like Jack T up there. <laughs> That's a clear difference. All right. So check this out, man. Because I know these folks asking questions. And I got a lot of questions too, you know, outside of that. So what you doing? Like what, what goes on on a normal day when you ain't doing track and field? Like what, what do you do? Like, do you work like everybody else or, or come on, let us in. Give us some insight. Because we trying to find out more about Miss Briscoe. Okay. So, um, so I did have a contract when I got out of college. Mm -hmm. Since 2018. So 2018 through 2021, I did have a contract. Mm -hmm. And um, my degree is in accounting. So I do have some kind of financial background. I know contracts don't last forever. Mm -hmm. So I did save up some money to where if the time did come where I wasn't sponsored, I was still able to support myself. So even though I don't have a contract right now, I'm still able to live and maintain myself. Mm -hmm. without the support from a um, contract. You know, that only lasts for so long, though. But yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I yeah. am good right now. But um, on a daily basis, um, what I like to do is home decor, home organization stuff. I have a garden, so I um, I, I try to grow some stuff. I got some tomatoes. You got some collard greens out there? You got some collard greens? I uh, know. I only did cucumbers and tomatoes last year. Come on, Jack. This how you going to come? How, did, how you going to... You got it. You got to start. I might put some greens in there this year, but it's a learning process. So that's what takes my mind off the track and just into like the the world. So I don't have to think about like track. So you got some red that's chili peppers out there. Pizza. You got no hmm? red chili peppers. You got no chili peppers either. I tried peppers. Mm -hmm. They didn't. They didn't make it. <laughs> <laughs> so I have a gardening page. It's called Kaya the Gardener. <laughs> Hey, go follow her. Tell him again. Go follow her guard. I'm showing up in hold on. Matter of fact, <laughs> give it to me again. I'm gonna check your shit. All right, nine while you on the show. Give it to me. What's on Instagram, YouTube? Yeah, what? it's an Instagram page. Instagram. Hold on. K I A H. Hold on. You know I can't spell y'all name. Hold on. 
K I A H. The. Oh, Kaya the Gardener already popped up. Already popped up, Jack. Already popped up. I'm going to hit this follow button. Let me see what you got going on over here. Oh, y'all, she got cucumbers for real, Jack. Hey, them cucumbers, I don't, man. Them cucumbers. Them cucumbers right there now. What you, what you? Cucumbers look like you really took care of them. Oh, this is the pebble you messed up. Yeah, they didn't. <laughs> <laughs> hey y'all, hey, she really do got like a whole gardening page. I'm looking at it. I'm looking at it right now. She really do got like a whole you was a for real gardener. Yeah. Okay, so let me ask you this then. What are you trying to take this gardening thing to? Like, is this just something cause cause not to cut you off, but cause so my getaway when I ran track was music. Like, so I I I, right. I made beats and I produced music. So my getaway, even that track meets, I would lock myself in a in, in a room and just work on beats or whatever that was my getaway mm -hmm. and today now i got you know from the result of that i got what three albums on itunes i got a distribution company that i own now mm -hmm. so like do you feel like your gardening is something that you're going to continue to do and keep going with it or is it just something like i need something to do to occupy my time and i just go do gardening i i just think it's something that I've always wanted to do, and now that I have, like, the space to do it, I just decided to do it. Um, I'm, like, I'm an outside person, but I'm scared mm -hmm. of, like, animals and stuff, so I feel like it was just something that could help me get out of, like, that fear, even though I still do get scared sometimes, like, if a cat comes back there or something, I'm like, Ugh. but I'm trying to, like, overcome fear, so that's another reason why I'm doing it, but... I don't know. It's just something I like to do. I can put my phone down and not worry about what's going on in the world. And I can just focus on my plants. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, see, I'm, I'm a nature and health freak. So I'm like literally going down your page and like, oh, like, wow, like literally, well, I like some wow. Because I got the page, but I had a lot of non-successful things. So. Yeah. It's this is like, and I feel like I could just like be myself on that page. Like, it's not all about track. People don't care about what happened on the track on that page. So I could just come on there, thank look you, look in a hot mess, and people yep. just like supporting me, telling me things I need to do. So I love it. Hey, this is hella dope. I'm so so. Let me ask you this because I'm looking at one of your reels or whatever. Um, the the green smoothie. Did you use your ingredients in this? Not not for that one. No. Wait, the smoothie. Yeah, I'm looking no, at no. the. Okay. I didn't have. I had used everything by then because that's do, more recent. Do you use um any of your ingredients like from mm -hmm. from your garden or whatever? I made a green juice. It's on the page further down with the cucumbers. Yeah. But also, I use apples and stuff. I didn't have an apple tree at the time. Yeah. But yeah I yeah, did yeah, yeah. apple tree this year, so I do plan Dang, to like use son. all of my my stuff in my food eventually. You want to hear some track and field coincidentally crazy stuff? So, um, you have a silver medal, right? And you like mm -hmm. to garden. Fred Curley has a silver medal, and he's gardening. <laughs> I saw that he just started gardening. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, he just he just started gardening. I'm loving the fact that y'all are finding stuff to do that um, takes your mind away from the sport because that is what allows you to run fast in the sport. When you're stuck in the sport, you're stuck with misery. I tell you about the time, like. If you stuck in track and field, if you take an L or if you don't run good or you do bad, it can't get rid of it. Why? Because everything you do in your life is going to remind you of that L because you do track and field, you do this, you do that. But when you have outside, like like me, if I would take an L, I would rush to my computer and just put it all in my beats. Mm, mm. And then I just start feeling better. Like, you know what? It's all right. You know, I, I feel better. It sounds like that's, to me, knowing now that that's what you do. If I had known this before Worlds, I'd be like, oh, no, she's going to win. She's going to win. Why? Because it's a balance. It's a healthy mental balance. Like, her, her mentality is balanced. Why? First of all, I know what it takes to be disciplined. Meaning, y'all, I got to go. It's a garden. That shit is not going to grow no time soon. So that means I got to water it. Mm -hmm. So by you understanding how things grow, it makes perfect sense to where what you're where you're at now in your career and like why you're running fast because subconsciously and energetically you understand things differently. It's like I'm out here on the track, 
but I do know that it's more than just track. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because I know it's more than just track and because I have a getaway if I do good, if I do bad, every time I come to the track, I can come with a fresh mindset mm -hmm. because I got a getaway. It, and yours being like for real, I, I'm, I'm, you and Fred got me just like, damn, like you of all the it. things that y'all could pick to do, you pick something that actually is mentally relaxing. And not only that, it, it forces you to have to cherish something. And if you do it right, you can actually utilize it in your track and field. Bro, I got fresh tomatoes back here, Jack. <laughs> you mm -hmm. can go get even though Whole Foods is a good spot. Oh, you know, you can go to Whole Foods. Like that home, my shit so. at home, Jack. <laughs> you can go get that cucumber at that. You go ahead. Mine from back there. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna catch hell, beat me. I can tell you that right now. You gonna catch hell because I'm eating all natural, like not. And, and that's the thing I be trying to tell you, not to the extent of like I'm on a farm, but if you can give mm -hmm. your body just a little something that you did. That you grew, mm -hmm. God gonna give that to you times ten for your nourishment because you grew that. Like that one cucumber is worth more than any cucumbers you can buy. Why, boy? I, I, boy, I grew it out my own garden, Jack. <laughs> I, I grew that out my own who garden, Jack. <laughs> oh man, listen, I don't know who the hell Jack is, but he be following me all the time, Jack. I don't know who he is, but he. <laughs> That's my road, dog. Me and him been riding together for, 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 since I was in the army. I don't know who this ninja is, but he been like my friend that I talk to all the time. So now everybody's <laughs> Jack. I'm, you the first person to ever asked that, like, who the hell is Jack? I'm like, bro, I don't know who that ninja is. It, he kind of like uh, uh, Parlay. Jack kind of like oh, Parlay. <laughs> 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 who the hell is Parlay? Man, we don't know, but you know <laughs> That's parlay. That's parlay. All right, let's get back to track and field because I tell y'all, man, I get on this show. Replay. You were supposed to bring up the video. The video? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Y'all want to watch the video? I don't want to show it, y'all. I don't. Why? I'm going to be honest with you because I ain't on that camera. <laughs> <laughs> so it was hey, a good video. <laughs> hey, I, was, I got to the studio late as hell. And I was like, shit, I ain't even got time to set up for the video or none of that. But guess what? There you go. Because I know y'all want me to do this. That's what I know y'all want me to do this. Y'all want me to break down this damn race. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. All right. Damn it. Since y'all asking for it, I'm going to go find it. I'm going to go do it. Get us off the screen. Can y'all see that? Can everybody see it? Can everybody see it now? at the top. It's a glare at the top and everything. You know what? That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. I wasn't prepared to show the race, people. I got the lights on and everything. I wasn't prepared to do this breakdown. But since y'all going to make me do it, y'all going to make me have to go turn these lights off and everything. But because Briscoe on the show, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do everything I can to make sure everybody is happy and content with this show. Let me turn off my overhead lights so we don't have no glare and then we're going to do this breakdown with her on it because I know y'all just want me to say what I'm going to say about her race just so y'all can start some controversy because you know I'm going to do the race take version of what I see. Y'all ain't right. Y'all supposed to be here with me but it's all right. Let me turn these lights off and we're going to do it, damn it. Hold on, y'all are coming. That's what y'all want. Do what y'all want me to do. All right, so then when we break your race down. All right, so let's go find it first of all. Uh, so I can go right here. Let me go YouTube. Take a good old look at this thing here. All right, so we're gonna be breaking down the finals, and I probably can just go to my history because I just had it up on the last show. Hey, that's going to be right there at the bottom. Me and Briscoe right there. That's dope. Okay, hold on. Let me go to my history. Get this out the way, y'all. Because Oh, they ain't going to let me do it that way because I ain't signed in. But don't worry about it. So we want to watch y'all 60-meter women finals. You know what? I feel like they didn't even put y'all race up. And when I watched it, it's going to one I had, but we can check out one of these. Hold on. <laughs> these comments are funny. 
Oh, welcome to Race Tape. <laughs> <laughs> Is this y'all right here? Is this y'all timers right here? Yeah, let's get it. Yeah. Wait, this ain't y'all whooping. Damn. This ain't y'all whooping. Damn. And this is the other thing that I don't like. This type of disrespect right here. Why do, why, 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 why do we have to go through all this just to find the damn race? This is a reaction right here. I mean, I got the race because, you know, I got people in places and so they sent me the race. I got the actual video. So I guess I'm going to have to go do that. Yeah, I'm going to have to go. I'm going to have to do that. I'm going to do the same thing I did last time because I told y'all I got the video. I got the video video, Jack. Like the video video, like the full quality one. Let me go pull it up. Come on, Xavier's go Cairo. Because I had somebody send it to me. You know, and they sent it to me. They was like, hey, Ray, do you want the... The full pretty version? And I was like, of course. Flow track's not there. I can watch that one. I could probably show that. Shout out to Flow Track. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is that um, on your computer or your phone? No, I got it. I have it in my um, Instagram, actually. So, oh. Damn, come on, Ray. Work with me. All right, y'all, hold on. Let me do this real fast on y'all. Y'all can watch me do this real fast. Um, I ain't had enough to drink yet, so that's why my brain ain't working. But it's in my Instagram, so let me log in, because that's how we watched it last time. So I don't know if this, this is an unknown, unknown fact. I don't know if any of y'all remember this person who had an Insta, I mean, had a face. Mm, damn it, Ray, together. a YouTube account called Fast Misha. If y'all remember Fast Misha, shout out Fast Misha in the comments. So Fast Misha used to put up like all of the races. Soon as they was done, Jack, you could go to Fast Misha and he had them up. Do you hear me? Well, of course, Flow Track banned Fast Misha, as they do a lot of people. And after that, Fast Misha was no longer able to upload videos. So when he was no longer able to, he became a race taker fan and said, hey, Ray, I have all the videos of every race and I still have the. So it's funny because he can get the races. But he can't play them well, because of mm -hmm. flow track. So weird. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Here it is pulling up and I will make sure that you guys can see it. I'll unplug that one. Women's 60 meter final world championship 2022. Here it is. Let's open it up in the big screen. All right. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Cause they got the sound and everything on. I don't want all that. Pause that. Mute that. I don't want all that. Hold on, y'all. Make sure y'all can see this thing. Now. Can y'all see? Everybody can see. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Mm-hmm. Briscoe, can you see this screen? Mm-hmm. You know what's about to happen. So what's about to happen is I'm about to break down your race from what I see from technical standpoints, why I think you lost, why I think you won, what could have been better, yada, yada, yada. Same thing I do with everybody. So just get ready. I'm sorry we didn't come prepared because I did not come prepared to show this race, but since we're here, we're going to do it. Mm-hmm. All right. I hate y'all fans, but we're going to make it work for y'all. Okay, here we go. Here it is. Women's 60 meter dash. Full screen it. Let's see what I see and what I say from what I thought could have been done better. Here we go. Here it is. Yeah, we can get out. We can get past all that, y'all. We can get past all that. What time is it? Oh, Lord, I got another show to do. It's cool. Let's get on up in here. Swole, hey, was you aware that we gave like all of y'all nicknames? <laughs> What's my nickname? Bullet Briscoe. Now you're Bullet Briscoe. You had to earn that. You earned it though. You Bullet Briscoe. Okay. Well, actually, I give all I give all y'all nicknames. That's my. That's, that's just what I do. That was Swole Booty. I didn't give her that name though. Somebody else oh. gave her that nickname, and I ran with it. Yeah, they call her Swole Booty. Swole Booty, like Swole Booty. I was like, that is funny as hell. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so. Let me pause it. Right now, 
What's going through your mind right now? You already answered it. Answer it again. Well, when they were doing the intros, they turned the lights off. So I was just looking around and enjoying the moment. Hmm. So that first. Like, look how I got here. Okay. <laughs> I'm here now. I'm here now. That's what's about to happen. Y'all been to get it. <laughs> <laughs> I also have your splits. Do you know your splits? No, I haven't seen my splits. I have them. I give them to you. I, Rage TV be having everything, Jack. <laughs> Parlay, Jack. Where y'all at? All right, here we go. Back it on up. Get on in the blocks. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, y'all can hear my cup so good today, but y'all know I have to have my celebratory drink. All right. Bye, y'all. Now, at this point, what the hell is going through your mind right now? At that point, that's just a routine. So I shake my legs out, stretch, right foot in the block, left foot in the block. And then I get down, look up one last time to see where I'm going, see the finish line, and then put my head down and just breathe in. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Let me see what I see. Let me do it. Uh, stop it. Oh, All right. I was in, in the box already, so that's it. Yeah. Not thinking about anything. Yeah, you better not be thinking about shit right now. <laughs> <laughs> you better be thinking the next sound, I'm gone. If you're thinking yeah. anything else, oh, you don't lost. As <laughs> quick don't as lost. possible. Shit, I'm trying to tell you. Say it. Gun, gun. Cut, I'm gone. All right, so check it. From right here, doing what I always do on Raise Tape, which is break down, look at everything. I like your angles. I like your arms. I like your tripod. I really love your neck. The relaxation in it. Let me see. Bye, Okay, so. I got to treat you like I treat everybody now. Because I love y'all. Your first step, I was like, eh, I like it. But I... I I'd like a little more push, a little more, ooh, a little more sweeping of that, the front side. That just a little more sweeping. Mm -hmm. Bing. Okay, now here though, here, right here at the, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, y'all see this shit that I'm showing you right now? You see it? You see it? See right here. You see? You see that foot? Y'all see that foot? Y'all see that foot? Y'all know I don't talk, y'all. That's that knee ass foot. At this point right now, if I'm watching this, I'm about to say she's going to win and let somebody come back because that's low heel recovery, Jack. She ain't did all this. That shit been come right through there. Been come right through there. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm looking at. All right. So now, let me see. Boom. At this point. Okay. So at this point in the race, here's the one thing that I love about you and Brianna. And Kambuji. Y'all vision. Oh, and she got some work to do over there, Sharika. But y'all vision is here, 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 here. You up, which meaning, oh, you can start running. You in a full tilt right now. You is you at you finna hit your gears now. If you finna hit your gears now, and this person here is still looking down, that's called a drive phase, Jack. You in trouble. You ain't finna come back. Decent enough. Eh, eh. All right. Let me see what happened. Bye out right here. Okay. This is the same spot where I stopped it at when I was watching, uh, when I was on the show of Mary Bell. This part right here is what I did not like. I did not like that straight arm. Now, the reason why I did not like that straight arm is the same reason why I don't like straight arm, period, because we all know until your hand passes back through your hip, your foot can't come through. It can't. It has. It, it, it can't come back through to there. So at this point, I'm like, damn it. No. Why? That's a drag. All right. Your knee ass, though, is phenomenal. Y'all, both y'all knee ass what is on are point. You oh, you don't understand knee ass. Okay. She, I'm sorry, y'all. She knew. She knew to the show, y'all. She, <laughs> she knew. She knew. So we got we to gotta break it down to her. Okay. So race take started a whole year ago, right? Mm -hmm. And I created this thing to help people understand front side mechanics and actual lift that is if i can't see if you're running towards me i should be able to see the ash on your knee 
You know what I'm saying? So like, you know, you know if your knees is ashy when you be down in the blocks and your knees get a little ashy. I keep Vaseline on me. Damn it, Briscoe, you, you messing up the damn knee ash. Take the Vaseline off. I need to see the white. <laughs> so the knee ash is me saying, if you look at all of y'all knees, right? Mm -hmm. So Boda and a little bit, you see her knee pointing down. That means I can't see your knee ash, meaning you ain't got your foot up high enough. Mm -hmm. Your knee ash, I can see down the track. That means your foot is up high enough to where you're actually taking off, taking off. Like here, your knee ash down. Nope, knee ash down. Nope, Mary Bell, perfect. Knee ash is that way. You on my screen look ashy now. I don't. You might have had some. You it know, must be but, no, uh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> it might be the pixels, but right now it look a little ashy. But that's what knee ash is. All right, knee ash is. I just need to see. The ash on your knee coming towards me, that let me know you moving. The Rays take fans, they, they know about knee ash. They said you had great knee ash. So right here, perfect knee ash. I just didn't like the arm. Now, that part right there, that is when I knew, oh, I said, I said, they finna go one, two. Because your drive was longer than everybody else's. Mm. So I knew at that point, two things was about to happen. You was about to go, and she was about to go with you. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, D2 right here, she finna go because she just came out her drive phase, meaning if she just lifted her head up and all of y'all heads are up, guess what? Y'all done hit top end, and she ain't hit it yet, and she right next to y'all. So now she finna move, and she finna go with her. You are dead in the race. You ain't going to win. It's over with. I'm already calling y'all one, two, because – Shit, y'all out. Y'all out in front of the other. Oh, it's over with. Mm -hmm. That's what Ray takes saying. Until I, I ain't never see that shit back there. All right, so I keep going. Ooh, look, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I like that little play pause I did. Your transition just then for them little five meters, your frequency was like, I told y'all, I drove further. Now, let me hit my gear to get in front. That shit was nice. That, that Just that little mm, right there, that little mm, I love it. Love it. <laughs> this part. Right now, I'm saying still in the trap house. Because we're watching in, in, the, in the track trap house. I'm saying, oh, shit, they're going to go one, two. They're going to go one, two. Why? Because the other two that I thought could be in the race, they don't blew their asses out. They back there. And she are, she fighting that. Oh, they got it. They got it. They got it. I'm, I'm looking at y'all. Never, never once looked over here. My whole vision was right here now. Now I'm looking at I'm looking at Frisco Cheeks. That means she is bringing in oxygen and blowing it out. People, that is the balloon effect. If you got a balloon full of air and you let it go, it's going to shoot off. That's that. She's going to go. She's going to move. Mary Beth go with her. And it was right here. I was like, they got it. Oh, what the hell just happened? That's literally that quick. I was like, what the hell just happened? Literally. Literally, damn, that shit is beautiful. Like, if you take her, like, out of, if you do this, if you do that right there, <laughs> damn, that's a good run. But if you do that, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> damn, damn. Hey, I got a question why I got you on here. Mm -hmm. Oh, never mind, never mind, never mind. I, I see it, I see it. So right here. You had no vision of her being over there no. at all. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's close. Okay, so take me through this point right now. What's going through your mind right now? All I could feel is that I was in front of the people that were next to me. And even up until I hit the mat, I just was like, okay, well, I know I beat the two that was next to me. So I felt like I won. I mean, and naturally, the, being in lane four, that's how you should feel. Like, mm -hmm. what she did out of lane eight is, y'all, that shit don't happen all the time. Let's just, let's just, let's just put it out there. That shit rarely happens. It rarely happens. Mm -hmm. So I get what you're saying. Like, shit, and I thought I had one. <laughs> like, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> like, I know Swole Boda, Swole booted to the right, and she behind me. Mary Bell to the left, and she behind me. 
I didn't call it. Somebody okay too. <laughs> so like right now, Jack, I don't want this thing. And then when you look up, like, what the hell? <laughs> How? Yeah, I thought it was like, I don't know. How? Excuse me. Yeah, after the replay, after the replay, we all was like, ooh. After the replay, we we all even the trap house, we knew you had got second. Mm-hmm. The waiting part was to see who got that third. Mm-hmm. After they showed the replay, we're like, oh shit. Damn, Kombucha got damn got over there in lane eight. Mm-hmm. She ran a hell of a race. Hell of a race. Hell of a race. And no, and, and like I say, I give her all the credit, you know what I'm saying, for holding that composure in lane eight. Because most mm-hmm. of the time you'll get in lane eight and psych yourself out, like, man, they put me in lane eight. Right. You are already out of it. Mm-hmm. She had it in her mind, like, okay, well, I'm just gonna, you know, go through the motions or whatever, yada, yada. But I say it like this: what I saw is I did not see Kambuji winning. It's the same thing I said about the men's 60. I did not see Lamont winning. Even in this photo, I don't see Kambuji winning. I see you losing. And what I mean by you losing is not purposely. All right. Let me get to what I'm trying to say. Bye, y'all. I'm gone. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Damn, you should have won that race. <laughs> Based on that start, oh my God. Briscoe was not here to play. She gone, y'all. Mary Bell, she here too. Oh, there it went. There it went. There it went. Now, it was roughly to me. Here is where you lost it at because you're in front of them. And so you're preparing to lean them or out lean them. Mm-hmm. Right now, y'all that line, you see now you see what I'm saying? Is that that little right there is where to me you lost it at because you like you say you felt them too. So now you already about a foot back here, you're getting ready to lean, just like Brianna. Her face is up and everything. Mm. She pulled the same thing that Marcel did, they didn't get no faster. They just kept going. And so when y'all did this to get ready to lean, that's all it took. That's all it took. Mm-hmm. <laughs> literally, that's, that's all it took was that right there. Just just literally that. You see what I'm saying? Because if you look at it, even now, you leaning, right? Mm-hmm. And you back here leaning, which means your body started preparing to lean back here. And I'm sure John Smith, Coach was somebody, one of them always probably already told you, your body will slow down to get ready to lean. Mm-hmm. That means you started slowing down like back here. And so did they. She did it. That right. was the difference because she couldn't get ready to lean because she can't see them out of lean. All she damn, I mean, break my TV. All she can do is keep going. Mm-hmm. That's the to me, that was the difference. The difference was not knowing that she was over there right now. And I'm not saying not knowing that she was over there based off of like, um, the lane assignments, like, of course, of course you knew she was over there, duh, Mm -hmm. but not knowing that she was over there that close in the race with Mm y'all. I think if she had been in next to you, I don't think it would have, it would have been the same because she would have tensed up. Sometimes that it, it looks up that way. I feel like she would have tensed up. If she had a tensed up and started to out lean y'all, you would have won because she would have started trying to lean in that same damn spot. You, Mary Bell, everybody else trying to lean at, which is damn the 10 meters out, trying to get ready. If she would have been in it, she would have did the same thing, trying to get ready, but you're trying to get ready behind. So because you're trying to get ready behind, you ain't in the race no more. Yeah, but they do teach you to run through the line. Thank you. Run through wow. the line. But the one of the hardest thing to do is run through the line when you're in a damn race. I hear y'all all the time. Like, I, man, I did this for 15, 20 years. I hear you. Run through the line. Ninja, they right here. <laughs> like, you're trying to run through the line. 
They right here. Yeah, he's just trying to get there first. I'm trying to get here first, and I know they're going to do the same thing I'm going to do, which is uh, make that ugly face. And you want me to keep going so they can make the ugly face on me and get it? No, Jack. It ain't going to work that way. It ain't going to work that way. It ain't going to work that way. So that's what I saw. Like, like I tell people all the time, I didn't see you um, getting beat. I saw you losing. Meaning, well, if you had to did this, you probably would have won. Mm. That's my thing, cause cause I can only compare my compare to when I raced a boat and Johan. Like, bro, what can you do? Like, you gonna you gonna get beat? I know. I, I'm I'm trying to get this third place, man. Tyson Hill too. I don't give a damn. So I get it. I get it. I totally get it. All right, y'all. We gotta get off that, cause y'all got all these questions and stuff, and I got questions. Oh, and I still got something to talk to her about. Oh, matter of fact. Before we get to the questions, can let me ask you something. Because I know you got an agent. Who your agent? Agent. Shout him out. Man, you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell you like this here. Y'all know I do. I give a lot of stories on my show. I've been knowing Emmanuel ever since 2003. I remember Emmanuel pulled up Mount Sack Relays one year. He was the first person I've ever seen in the Tudo. Damn, what that thing was? Maserati. Came in two door Maserati. I said, ooh, boy, that thing nice. He said, Ray, you can sit in it, but you can't touch it. <laughs> hey, how the hell I can sit in it, but can't touch it? Exactly. You can't even sit in it, Ray. Go on by my car. So, make a long story short, 2009, when I, keep in mind, I came into the scene on 2003. So, I've known Emmanuel for a long time. 2009, after I made the team and finished third, and he was not my agent. Didn't represent me or nothing. He was the first person to congratulate me as soon as I got out of the car at the hotel, without a shadow of a doubt. He was the first person to walk up to me and be like, that's what I'm talking about. Now you in the club. Now you don't finally made it. You know what I'm saying? And what he meant by that is like, bro, you've been knocking on this door forever, Jack. Like, when are you going to make a team? When are you going to finish top three? And then when I finally finished top three, like I'm from, he was the first person there before I even seen my own real agent, because John was in the hotel somewhere. He was standing outside, you know, he wasn't waiting on me, but he, you know, getting ready to go. But he was the first person I bumped into, and the first thing he did was dap me up, congratulate me. It was like, man, I'm proud of you. I'm glad you finally in the club, yada, yada, yada. So shout out to E for that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I just, listen, man, that's, that's, I'm going to leave it at that. <laughs> I'm going to just leave it at that. So, so let me ask you this. Um, so what's going on with your contractual obligations and stuff like that? Well, that's, that's what his job is. Just talking mm -hmm. to the people for me on my behalf. And I trust that he's doing what he's supposed to do and whatever's happened, whatever is going to happen, is going to happen. Mm -hmm. I can say it like this here. If you got Emmanuel Hudson as your agent, you ain't got shit to worry about. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I've been in the game long enough, Jack. I know who on them golf courses. Yeah, you all you got to say. Yeah, you straight. <laughs> you ain't got nothing to worry about. Check this out, though. I'm going to say it like this right here. Oh, shit. Your splits. Before I get into that, y'all know I be I be sporadic. Yeah, let me get let me give you these splits. Hold on. Let me get these splits. Hold on. Let me go find them. Hmm. Who sent them to me? Man, I got so many people. I can... Okay, where them splits at? Where them things at? I got like 15 different Instagram. Oh, there they go. It was this one. Not this one. NLS. Oh, here we go. All right. Okay. No, that's that's Marcel. Okay. That's 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 the man. Damn, did I have a man on purpose? Yeah, I guess I did. Okay. Well, damn. What did he do with the splits? That's the man splits. Mm, that's Marcel. That's Marcel. That's Bracey. That's some stats. He says some stats for you. Yada, yada, yada. Okay. That's cool. I tweeted it. So let me go to my Twitter. Oh, y'all. I got to hire some new help. Okay. Profile. Tweets. I tweet so much. Let me know tell them what that thing got. Let me do this. There we go. Uh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, scroll. Shout out to my sis and bro that's on here. Shout out to, to your peoples, for <laughs> sure. For sure. Damn, I could have sworn eight hey, on uh, race take people. Didn't we have they splits? Somebody tell me. I could have sworn we had they splits. I I I could have sworn we had they splits. But I can't find them. I know we did. I literally know we had them. It's okay. Hmm. Uh, I want to talk about them. Who is this? This is. See, here's the problem. Bully Briscoe, here's the problem. All right. I got so many people, and I love all of them. They send me all type of information. They send me videos. I have this stuff I don't ever look up. They just tell me. They be like, hey, did you know that this was they splits? This was they splits? And I'm like, I know not because you just told me. Mm -hmm. Oh, found it. Oh, wait yes, a minute. My mom is involved in my career. What's going on? Hey, mama, Briscoe, <laughs> mama bullet. Huh, I guess you took it down. Yeah, because um, I found it, but it's just not... See, I don't think I'm lying. See, it's right here, y'all. See how it says women stats, but it has that little arrow thingy. You, I'm, I'm finna hit him up, tell him I need them stats again. Okay. Okay, let me ask you this. Uh just just I'm just 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 curious, okay. If somebody's if some people's, if some people's has some money that they want to give to you. They want to give it to you. Let's just say they want to give you like, I don't know, 20 bands, like $20,000. And they like, hey, we ain't no shoe company. We ain't no shoe company now. Uh, but we'll give you $20,000 if you appear at like four appearances and you got to run it out four of them. Would you take the money? I feel like that's something you got to talk to my agent about. <laughs> I don't know. I can't answer that. <laughs> well, I can tell you what Emmanuel would say. Emmanuel would say, hell yeah, first of all, Ray, any money, we're going to take all the money. I'm going to take my percent, take my cut yeah, out of them. Take my cut. Yeah, and Emmanuel's <laughs> going to be like, look here, Jack. He's going to be like, Ray, 20? Shit, man, didn't you leave you for 50? <laughs> <laughs> hey, the only reason why I'm asking because you know, with y'all, with y'all story, you know, you and and uh, you and Mary Beth's story, and me always talking about how just not no, there's not enough money in this shit for us. You know what I'm saying? And because I be running my mouth about that shit all the time, and people be hearing it, so I be getting like emails and from churches and companies and stuff like that, and be like, hey man, right, dang, they ain't got no. I'm like, hey man, y'all seen the show? Y'all these folks ain't got no money. Y'all shit ain't got no money. So I can tell you like this right here. Well, I did get an email about you. Um, actually, I got one about you and Maribel. And Maribel already, you know, anyway. So I did get an email about you. Some people was inquiring. They was like, right, so what's this thing about y'all don't make no money? I said, boy, 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 how many times we got to keep telling y'all? It ain't like that out there. We out here struggling. Even we got money, we ain't got money. And I ain't going like, well, I'm struggling because God always well, provides. Say it again. He is going to provide, so. Say it again. Say it again. It's well, not, let me. That was not. Whatever. But yeah, he's the provider, so. I, amen to that. Let me rephrase struggling then. To me, struggling is why the hell is every other sport making bukus of money and I'm getting peanuts? That's struggling to me. Okay. Struggling to me is struggling as an athlete, not struggling like, bro, I, you know, I'm, 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 I'm popo. -po. I need to, I got to go to our town and get some help for the week. No, 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 no. To me, struggling is the fact that you are arguably one of the fastest females in history. Now, when I say that type of stuff, I need people to understand what I mean by that. Being one of the fastest in history don't mean I am the fastest, as in I got the world record, I, I got this and that. Being one of the fastest in history means that if I walk into my local Walmart right now, and if I come in here and be the greeter, for the next hundred years, 
the chances of somebody walking into this Walmart and me greeting them in the next hundred years that has done what I've done, the percentage is like 0. 0.0000000001. Meaning I am a fixture in history and that's worth something. It's worth way more than what the hell y'all giving us. Why? Okay, literally. Can you do what I can do? Mm -hmm. No. Okay. Can the average person do what I can do? No. Okay. And what I mean by that is in football, basketball, all these major sports, there is a lot of people, a lot of athletes that have acquired skill sets that let's just call it what it is. Steph Curry don't look like a basketball player, but he wanted the greatest because he acquired a skill set that he just kept working at. Like, he kept working at it. All right, bro. Well, guess what? There's a lot of people that can shoot. Go find me some more females that can run 6'9". And then we'll talk about who's worth more. Go find me some more females that can run 22. Then we'll talk about it. That's what I mean by struggling. Struggling mm -hmm. to me is I'm not getting nowhere close to what I'm worth whatsoever off the track I ain't, i'm not struggling why well, I, I just told y'all financially i'm straight i got a garden you know what i'm saying like god gonna make sure everything good i'm not worried about nothing jack but my name is struggling why again go find me go to any walmart and find me somebody to do what i can do go find it go find it you can't so even with me Knowing that, you know, you're going to get another contract and it's going to be a damn good contract. But will it be what you are worth? Chances are no. And the reason being, and I said to you, like I said, everybody on the show, it's not just the fact that Nike don't want to give people money. It's not the fact that Adidas give bigger contracts. It's, it's, it's really not that. It's really the root of the problem is there is no money as far as, yeah, you should be getting a million dollars right now. You, you just came back with a silver medal and you are in like position to make the world championship team. I want a million dollars. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I, I, don't, I don't know what y'all want me to do. Like, I, I don't know what, I don't know what y'all want me to do. Like, mm -hmm. I want a million dollars. Okay. You're not going to give it to me, but that's what I'm, that's what I'm worth. I'm worth a million dollars. Why? You can't find a million people that can do what I can do. So therefore, I need a million dollars. Well, if I can't get a million, I need a half a million. But since they're not really trying to do that, my job is to sit here on raise take and complain about just that and wait for people to reach out to me and say, hey, man, what y'all mean Makai got cut, man? I mean, I, mean, I can't call you Makai. Come mess your name up. What y'all mean Bullet Briscoe ain't, you know, and she ain't making Wait, no I money. She ain't you. got no. You can't hear me no more? What you do? Bullet Briscoe, what you do? Bullet Briscoe. Hello. Whoa, hello. Did I lose you? Did I lose you? Hello? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? No, I can't hear. You can't hear me? Let me try. Yeah, get on, get out of here, and then come on back in. Then we can finish up. We can go and finish up. Click the same link. We're going to wrap this thing up because I'm supposed to be on another show at 9 o'clock, but it ain't looking good. Oh, I probably got to send the link back. Damn. Oh, wait a minute. No, she back. There she go. Yo, we're live with Race Take. Can you hear me? I'm back. Oh, we can <laughs> hear you now. Everybody say they can hear you. They can hear you now. So, my whole thing is just that anytime that I have a chance to have y'all on this platform with you on it or without, that's my job. My job is to run my mouth and say, yeah, or no. And I mean, yeah, and no is, yeah, like she just said, I'm straight. No, she's not. Okay. I'm going to say it. She's not straight. Well, for damn. Okay. Not by my version of straight. My version of straight is my garden is 10 times bigger. Why? Because I got more money than I already had. I got dog on it. I just left in a silver medal. I need some money. Not I don't need the money, but I need the money for what I just did. I don't mm -hmm. need the money because God got me, okay? I don't need it. I don't need it. But I need it because of what I did and who I am. So I'm going to hook you up with some people. They reached out to me. 
Uh, it's crazy because I like y'all girls is like doing it. Like Lily, you and Mary Beth, like y'all doing it, and people are loving it. So I'm a um nice. thank you. I'm gonna hook you up with some people who are trying to uh, talk to you. Um, and then that way you and Emmanuel can talk to them, you know. It's it's kind of one of those things to where it's like when I go ahead and, and, and say it about, you know, another athlete. And they were like, Ray, is this real? I'm like, bro, I don't have nothing to do with this shit. All I can do is give you screenshot what they telling me. And here you go. Now you go take this to your agent. And you take this to your lawyer. And y'all read it over. And you see what the hell these folks talking about. Okay. I'm just a middleman, Jack. <laughs> I'm just a middleman. You know what I'm saying? But the middleman has some information because, um, yeah, they was like, what is that whole post that she keep talking about? Like, you know, she trying to get a contract back. Hey, I mean, I don't know her personally like that to say that she need any money or anything like that. But when they hit me up, I was like, you damn skipper, she needs some money. <laughs> and then, and I was like, what you mean? She I ain't going to say no. You damn skipper, she needs some money. How much she need, right? She, I don't know, man. Let me see. Let me do the math. She need about 20. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm, I swear to God, John, I'm telling you straight up. Like I told her, I'm like, man, she need about 20. 20? Yeah, hell yeah, she need about 20. You got to think about it, man. The average Nike contract, 25000 you know what I'm saying? She got a silver medal. She need about 20. If y'all can make her, y'all can figure it out how to make that work to where uh, y'all give her like that good $20,000. If y'all just want her to show up four times and say, hey, wave at the crowd, whatever. Y'all figure that shit out between her, her team, and everybody else. I'm just raised take to tell the message that that's what I got today. That's the day. Remember when I hit you up? Um, on my Instagram or whatever Instagram, I was like, man, I got some shit for you. They had just literally, because I think because I had put that post up, what you had put um, from mm -hmm. on the magazine. Yeah. And so they hit me up. They was like, hey, man, shoot, we don't mind donating. First of all, what the hell? Donate? Like, what? what? Yeah, we don't mind sponsoring her. Well, what you Make it more clear, because, you know, you're saying donate, you're saying sponsor, you're saying shit like this. Just talk about the money. Okay. Okay. Uh, what you think, Ray? Oh, which I can tell you. I don't know. She need 20000 I'm like, she need 20000 right now. 20, 20. Yeah, 20. 20. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So, when we get done, I'm going to um, I'm gonna hook you up with the information. And then, like, the same thing I told the other one. Hey, man, get with your agent because these are not the type of decisions that you're supposed to make. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to take these type of things and these people and say, Oh, yeah, of course. Here to my agent. Here's the paperwork. You go over this. You read this. You tell me what this is because I'm not turning down the money. First of all, I'm not. If somebody's going to give me some money, <laughs> you need to figure out who these folks is and what they want from me. As long as they don't want nothing from me but to help me out, I want the money, Jack. Especially if it's just to help me out. If it's a blessing from the Lord. If the Lord says, I need you to go plant more cucumbers and you need money to plant cucumbers, then I'm going to get you some money to plant cucumbers. Yes. Kind of it. Okay. So, yeah, that's just yeah, that's just that. Yeah. So, um, yeah, off the air, as soon as we get done, I'm going to send you their information and then... That way you can talk to them and then you can get Emmanuel to talk to them and then y'all just go from there. All right. Yeah. See, this is what be happening when I be having folks on the show, man, because I just like to talk. I like to have conversations. It's like being on the phone back in high school. You know, I don't forget. We got to get the q and I'm late as hell for a nine o'clock show. I'm supposed to be on a nine o'clock so show and everything. All right, y'all, because I ain't got but like five minutes because I'm supposed to be on a whole nother show now. So let's get this Q&A going. Right now, do it. Mark B Fitness says him nervous because she cute. I, that's the first thing I, I popped up. Who nervous? <laughs> Fireheart. I did Mrs. Fireheart. Drop them. We're ready. Drop the questions. Be more. I bought the cheater spikes. Them not kidding. You bought them spikes. I bought the cheater spikes. Loud, loud. <laughs> Jack Jack says in capital letters, Briscoe, will you marry me? These are not the questions that we supposed to be asking, but Okay, somebody said, Why don't you open up outdoors? So this weekend at LSU, I'm doing a four by one and a two hundred. So um I'm not opening up. I don't know when I'm opening up just yet, but I am doing some two hundreds before I open up. Hmm. 
Um, would you let me see, would you on lead off? Who do you pick for the four by one dream team? Wow. I'm gonna have to say an all LSU four by one. So it'll be me to the four would be me, Aaliyah, <laughs> me and Shakari. So a little bias, ain't we? I mean, just, just, yeah. just a little bit. Very much so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It'll be us four. Just so. <laughs> a little bias, but I, I ain't mad at that four by I ain't mad at that. I love my school, so I'm yeah, going to always so. say something about LSU. Hey, that's not a bad relay, though, at all. What did you think of the track surface material rubber at Belgrade? It was that's a awesome. good question. They, was it um, they actually built that track up just for that meet. Um, mm -hmm. Where we ran was an arena. They usually play basketball and do like other sports in there. Mm -hmm. So um, it's not like a worn down track. It was, I don't think it was brand new, but it was definitely a fresh track. Mm -hmm. um, there was like some good springs under it. So it was really bouncy um, and it felt good. Hmm. Yeah, I heard that it, it was it was a pretty decent track. Mm -hmm. Um, speed training or plow metrics? I'm guessing they want to know like which one do you prefer. What? Come on, y'all. Make it make it make sense. Speed training. That's what I do. I don't do too much too much plow metrics. Let me go on and make that shit make sense to y'all. We are pure sprinters. We lazy as hell. Okay. Mm -hmm. We don't want to do nothing but go. I, we live for March. Everything before March is hell. <laughs> Um, what's your goal for outdoors time? What's your outdoor goal time? I can I, keep that to myself. I ain't yeah. mad at you. It's There's no such thing as time. The one thing that I say that Tony Campbell has always said, and shout out to TC, is if you are chasing time, you'll never make a team. I the name of the game down, is to beat people. That's true, yeah. but yeah. I don't know. We I mean we I all wrote, have it's funny, that. I wrote down six ninety nine. I don't have it on my board right now, but I wrote down six ninety nine is my goal time. So, and I ran affirmations. it. Affirmations. Yeah. It turned out second, but it was the exact time. And two years ago, I wrote down 704. I ran that at USA's. So, mm. that just, mm. that's, that's what I do. Are you related to Valerie Briscoe? Um, no. I call her my cousin, but we're not really related. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. All time favorite male and female sprinters. Hmm. Good, good question. I'm curious to know what that is. Who, who, all time who favorite? favorite. All time favorite. Who that I'm going to say my cousin for the women. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, for the men, I don't know. I guess I grew up watching Tyson Gay. So I'll say Tyson Gay. Shout out T Reason. Shout out T Reason. That, that my boy. You, you ever met Tyson before? No. Well. Mm -hmm. I've seen him, but I never like met him. Man, look here. That one of the most coolest, down to earthest, fastest person you'd ever want to meet. That dude there. That dude there. Real quick story before we go to the next question. We gotta get off of here oh, and make it real short. Tyson Gay, <laughs> when he got suspended, I'm gonna say it again. I've said on this show before. Tyson Gay gave back all his earnings in its entirety. Not uh -huh. just the earnings from when he failed a drug test at USA's. He gave back all his earnings from the moment that he knew he was taking that vitamin from the guy that sabotaged him. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't know that. That's character about Tyson. Literally. He did not have to do that. And right. he's the only person who's ever been busted in history to mm -hmm. give back the money past what they asked for. All right. Next to the questions. You want to drop that out? Uh, Somebody said my hurdles. My yeah, your hurdles. Hey, why did you switch from hurdles to the hundred? That's um, my because question. Me and my coach felt like on the professional level, I would do better in the open mm -hmm. 100. It's hard to focus on both the sprints and the hurdles. Tell that to my dang on baby so. mama. But keep going. <laughs> <laughs> I love y'all because I know y'all um, watching, but so thank you. PR. You just heard it from somebody who do it. <laughs> Gotta pick one of them. Indoor, my PR was seven, seven. Seven eight, I think, and then outdoor it was uh twelve eight. I ran at Texas relays. I'm gonna mm. check. I'm gonna just make sure. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Stat check yourself. Stat check yourself. What's the next question? Imagine. I have to multitask. Mm. <laughs> you got a whole garden. Like you can run the damn show. I don't even need to be here no okay, more. I, I can let it. you have the show. It's twelve eighty five and 
sixty hurdles, seven ninety eight. Ooh, sorry, mm. seven ninety eight and twelve eighty five. Which one you like more? Honestly, the that. the hurdles. I just like that with the hurdles you have something to look forward to every three steps, whereas mm -hmm. with the hundreds a lot of thinking. Like you have to really execute a good race in order for it to be effective and done right. So with the hurdles, it's just something on your mind every three steps. Mm -hmm. Do you think that because you was a hurdler that that has actually helped you be be bullet brisco and have like that quick push out the blocks because you, mm -hmm. you know, because it's always said that hurdlers or or better starters because y'all got to get to the hurdle so fast. Right. Do you think that that that, that, that helped you? Yeah, but I I had to switch up my start for the hurdles because I usually start my left foot forward. Mm -hmm. But for hurdles, I had to start my right foot forward. So, um, it, if it was a different feeling, I had to get used to to the point where now even in my open race, I start my right foot forward. Mm -hmm. But um, I think it more so helped with my speed endurance. Because mm. I had to continuously be on the gas the whole hundred. Okay, I'm gonna ask you a question before I ask this next question. Do you know who Dominique Briscoe is? Is that, that is one of your people? Listen, I'm trying to see. Because she in this thing going hard right now. She like what you ever fail in the hurdles before? She say you ever fail in the hurdles, Bullet Briscoe? <laughs> I did fall. And I have a bad scar from it. See, ooh, <laughs> Bullet Briscoe sister knew that. That's why she pulled it out of you. She was like, go and tell them about that, how you got that scar. That's why you don't really want to run the hurdles no more. No, the scar was in high school. She <laughs> really couldn't hurdle. That's why. Sis, really? <laughs> <laughs> wow. But no. I mean, we all fall. She fell too. She got the same scar I have. Oh, your, your sister, your sister, um, she did she did track and field too? Mm-hmm. She ran at the University of Houston. You know, you know, you of age. Mm-hmm. I got like three more minutes. I want to be real messy real fast. Hey, sis, oh, yeah. what, what's your Instagram? I'm about to pull you. I'm about to bring you on the show. What's your Instagram? Uh-oh. Put, put your Instagram up. I'm about to bring you on the show. You got to put your Instagram. My brother's <laughs> on here, too. Craig Jones. He not my blood brother, but. Put your Instagram up, sis. I'm about to bring you on the show. Everyone who done heard us as well, yeah. Go Tigers. Come on, I sis. Come on. Would you be to get the followers too, now? No, she don't. She probably don't want to put an Instagram. Hold on. Oh, she put hold on. it. Okay. Dumb. Hold on. Let me let me go find you. Let me go find you. I'm about to, I'm about to bring you in. Hold on. Let me go find you over here. Search. <laughs> D O M. What is it? D Dom Laray. Dom Oh, and she got my name. Come on on the show, Jack. Dom Laray. Dominique Dom Briscoe. I'm about to send you this link. Click it. Come on on the show. Oh, she gonna come on the show right now? Um, do right now. Don't you? Oh, this race tag, this live. Shout out to you. Go ahead, check your now. Check your Instagram. Click that link that I just sent to your Instagram, sis. And come on on the show. We got about another four five minutes. I can spell with y'all. I yeah, want you four, on the show. Minutes, I, minutes ago. You, look here, look here. You gonna learn about race tag, Jack? That's why everything is ish. That's why everything is ish. If your sister don't come on, because I'm looking at the, the thing. She online, too. I'm looking at you. I just said it to you. You can't hide from me. You online. It say right now. You online. I know you online because you're watching the show. Come on. We're waiting on you. you don't be afraid. Who? What? Man, come on. Do what I do. This is ready to take, Jack. I hope you're hell ready. Make sure you do this. Do this. Get your eyebrows okay, together. Are you planning to you know only focus on the 100 meters or will you do the 100 and 200? Um, Ooh, I guess I'll question. see when the time comes. For now, I'm just doing the 200 to help me for the 100 and then we'll just see as time goes on are you afraid of 200 mm -mm. i just don't like doing it <laughs> <laughs> how do you feel about the 400 then that's a better question nah, how do you feel that's about not the 400? in my vocabulary <laughs> <laughs> well guess what is in your vocabulary yo sister what it do dom is on this show i'm about to get me caught up yeah, you and you all over here talking stuff and talking about falling and all that so i say well man we might well let you fall off in here I ain't scared of <laughs> what you say i ain't scared of makaya she know she feels hey uh, so i who, okay so i gotta know who the oldest is who the oldest is who yes i will only run indoor who i think the older yeah Dumb. I'm to go. I'm, if I had to guess, I'm gonna go with Dom. Dom, you the older sister. So, 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 okay. You do you? So you ran too? You ran? You ran too? Yeah, I ran at U of H. U of H. Mm -hmm. What event you do? Long jump, triple jump, hurdles. Hmm. Who better? You or your sister? 
mean? <laughs> Y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Last I time started we were... running track in elementary school. Oh my God. Last time we ran, who won? Gotcha. In high school. Hey, hey, hey look at you on the good old air race, Jack. <laughs> 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 so, so, so both of y'all ran. So both of y'all did this whole sister battling thing the entire time. So let me ask you this then. Throughout y'all childhood, who won the most then? Because y'all had to race each other a lot. Who won the most? My high school coach didn't want us to race each other too much because there was one track meet in high school. We both did long jump, and we were only supposed to take one or two jumps mm -hmm, and be mm -hmm. done because we had to do, you know, in high school, you do the four by two, four by one, mm -hmm. one, you know, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I She jumped first. She jumps, you know, whatever. I jumped after her. I jumped farther than her. And he was like, all right, that's it. Sorry. That's just what happened. She had to keep on jumping to try to beat my mark. <laughs> got mad at her because she did all of that. <laughs> so that sibling rivalry between y'all is real. So let me ask you this, Dom, since you're on the show. How did you feel when you was watching your sister at the World Championships in that race? What? How did you feel about it? I mean, you're a track person, so you can talk from the track side and sister side. Yeah, I was at, um, I actually worked track and field meets so we was at tsu relays actually timing the meet okay at the meetup on the computer and like i never counted kimbuji out i saw her the whole time so i'm like what the heck so when she got sick and i was like dang but then when i saw the time i was like that's what's up i was yeah. happy she, she ran six nine i saw the six nine in her her house i was like i was just happy for makaya really more than more than anything, how how does y'all relationship knowing that both of y'all did track and I'm guessing I'm guessing dumb that you didn't keep going with it professionally, um, and she did. How do you feel like? Do you feel like you give her a little more extra? You know what I'm saying because you're not there, but you're there with her, uh, and and it's more like, hey, you got to keep going. I'm better than you. Don't forget, I beat you last time, but. I want you to keep going and keep doing what you're doing. Like, how how does that make you feel, though? You know, I always. I mean, I'm older and I finished track on a, um, on an injury. Um, I messed up my hip my last my final year of college. Okay. And before that, I had a concussion. But um, I think, like, as the older sister, that's my job. Like, I would be upset if Makaya wasn't better as mm. an. Um, if she didn't learn from my mistakes and become a better athlete and learn from um, some of the things I learned through my injury or through the uh, recruiting process. And even now, like um, if she wasn't better per se, then I think I would feel like bad as a sister. <laughs> so, how many, how many years apart are y'all? Three. Three? Three years apart. Did you torture her as a child? Like, cause you was the, the older sister. Did you like pull her hair saw, and like? I saw a comment that said, um, "What is, what is who it? would win in a fight between you two?" Damn it, we was going to story go. about how you lost your two front teeth. Ooh, I told y'all she can run the show. I ain't got nothing to do it. I want to hear it too. Let me see. Hold on, y'all. Let me pull up again. Go ahead, start the story. Start the story. Go ahead. I want to hear it. <laughs> it's good. Man, we had twin beds, right? <laughs> and um, I was a little kid. My one of my teeth was loose. I thought he was gonna jump from one bed to the other, landed right in front of my face and knocked both teeth out. So my teeth was gone for at least a year. <laughs> hold on, 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 hold on. So you were snaggle tooth for a whole year? Yeah, it's snaggle tooth people. I mean, you were snaggle tooth for a whole year. All the second grade. All because your sister wanted to start trying to do long jump in in, in, in the, kindergarten. In yeah. In the bed. So let me make sure I understand the story correctly. She tried to jump and didn't make it because you your mouth oh, was I in the way. Oh, well, you I made it. <laughs> so how did the teeth come out? Tell me that again. Because I landed on her. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> and you didn't move. <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you something. I, I I'll admit it. Makaya will win in the fight. Do y'all see how she built? 
Can't listen, shoot, man. Bullet Briscoe for a reason. Now, why? That's why I had to come on the air and apologize. I didn't want to see her at no track meet, and they find out she find out that I didn't count her to win, and now I got to step to that. Man, I'm gonna run, Jack, and she might catch me because I'm old. I'm old. <laughs> hey, how was y'all relationship though? And like, like sisters, did y'all fight a lot, or did or did y'all actually get along? We got along for the most part. I felt like. It was never bad, but as we got more mature and in our teenage years, like we stayed in the same room together until I think until she got to like eighth grade. Mm -hmm. And then she was like, okay, I need my own space now. But um, so we were like really close growing up. I only did everything I did because she did it. She played volleyball. I played volleyball. She played basketball. I played basketball. I tried to play basketball. <laughs> but, uh, so yeah, we were really close. And even to this day, like before I came on the show, she was like, okay, let's do a test run to make sure you know, like what to do, how to set up your camera, all this good stuff. So, oh, that's dope. That's yeah, dope. Yeah, I really that's, appreciate her for everything. She's that's a good dope. sister. That's, that's dope. That's dope. It sounds it sound like she's half the reason why you are what you are. Because mm -hmm. she makes you whole, it makes two of y'all. Right. That is that that's actually dope. I think she's crying because her, her she don't turn her camera off, so she probably don't have. Yeah, a I think she's actually right working now. something else right now. She's doing like the <laughs> the stream, oh, yeah. the Zoom meeting, or something else. Damn, y'all really be multitasking like that, man. I can't even. I can barely do my show. Y'all over there. Oh yeah, I went twelve, twelve, seventy five, and then me. Hold on, I got to send this email back. Oh yeah, I went thirteen ninety five. Y'all, y'all mm -hmm. is damn cold. Well, I appreciate her for, for at least coming on for the second and then me calling them out because that's what I do. I try and tell folks, ain't nothing about this show scripted, people, as you can see. Nothing about this show scripted. I pull anybody on the mm. show. I pull anybody on anything. We're from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Oh, yeah, back to the questions because you know, get back over there. Baton Rouge. Mm. So, so, so wait, wait, wait. So you grew up at LSU and went to LSU. Well, both of my parents went to Southern, so I was more of a like Southern University um, mm -hmm. kind of girl. But LSU was around, so I knew about, like, the track program, football, and all that. But um, I didn't have plans to stay in-state for college because my sister went out of state. Mm -hmm. But um, I knew I was going to do the hurdles and the 100 in college. And the program that had the best coach for both was LSU. So that's why I ended up going to LSU. Did you win state in high school? Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. This this just said a couple of times. He said, "You better check my record, Jack." No, not like Man. that. I'm just saying. <laughs> a couple of times. I, I look. I, I you say it more than I can because I won state one time oh. <laughs> in one event. <laughs> well, a win is a win. A dub is a W. Dub is a W. <laughs> All right. So, um, last question that I have. Last question. Well, actually, I, it's a two part question. Actually, I gotta ask you because I don't know. So how? And I know what people say, but this is a damn show. People leave me alone. So how old are you? I'm 25. So how many years do you feel like you got left in the sport? I don't know. We'll see. I can't say it. I don't know what the future holds. So. But you don't feel like you plan on retiring. Dom's back. You don't feel like you plan on retiring no time soon, anything like that? I mean, I just PR, so I hope I have a few more years in me. Okay. We'll okay. See. Dom, what made you pick U of H? Considering what your sister told me about y'all growing up in Baton Rouge and, you know, your, your parents went to, you know, Southern and you know, what made you want to jump ship and go to U of H? Let me get the right answer. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> she really wanted to go away from home. That, that was the thing. And they were one of the only two um, programs that were going to let me jump and hurdle, even though I figured out that that wasn't a good thing to do in college. <laughs> So basically, what you figured out to do, baby mama watching the show, is that jumping and hurdling could lead to injuries, baby mama watching the show. Just curious. I'm just curious. Is that what you just got to say? Talking from my vantage point, I don't know. Vantage <laughs> point, it does take on the body, especially if you're not balancing. If you're doing one thing on one leg, you got to do it on mm -hmm. the other mm -hmm. to balance. Mm -hmm. That's, I think, what messed me up. I did everything on the right leg. Mm -hmm. Now, here's it. I'm, I'm, we're going to get out this thing. I appreciate both of y'all. But the reason why I keep saying baby mama, because my daughter, she's amazing, right? If y'all don't know, I got a daughter. She's 16 years old. Everybody on the race taking her. My daughter's amazing, right? So every year, because she's a, she's a track princess, I fight 
with her and her mother every single freaking year about just that, okay? Which is, hey, sweetie, when you was doing AAU, yes, you won the, the hundred, the hurdles, you won the loan jump, you won everything. You're damn 10 years old, okay? It's a field day, all right? You're no longer 10, sweetie. You're going to have to pick something. Nope, dad, I'm going to do all of them. You can't do all of them. The body can't do that. And then, guess what happened? Dad always gets out. I get our number. I, every time, every, every summer, we go through the same thing. Every summer, I'll be like, sweetie, you and your mama, I'm telling y'all, I don't think you need to do both of them based on the fact that I don't know. I own a whole damn gym. I got three doctors that work with me. I don't know. I, what do I know? Nope, we're going to do all of it, dad. And then guess what? Guess what happened two weeks ago? I love my family, but whatever. Guess what happened two weeks ago? What happened? I get the phone call. Uh, your daughter hamstring on. Well, no shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> you don't say. You don't say. So you got anything to do? Let me guess what leg it is. It's a jump leg, ain't it? Yep. So y'all just got pulled into my family affairs without even knowing it. And I appreciate y'all for saying what you said because now y'all on my side without even knowing y'all on my side. It's too late. You don't already convinced them. I told y'all what the same thing that D2 legends on here saying. Both of them are legends. That's what I'm going to call them both now. Y'all need to listen to D2 legends and take my baby off one of them events, but they not going to do it and she ain't going to listen to me. Either. So anyway. I say though, it was better for me to learn that lesson myself than for somebody to tell me to quit it. And then I just follow somebody else. Like I was, I took the injury a lot better because I was the one who made, I heard people telling me that, mm -hmm. but as I was the one that said, no, I can do it. And mm -hmm. I, it was much better to take rather than somebody telling me like, don't do this. And then I live with regret. I mean, yeah. I you want, you want the best for your daughter. You want the best for the athlete, but it's just like, at the end of the day, she's going to have to make her own decision. You know, and that's why I do every single season when I, I'm a fight. But it, I, I, at the end of the fighting, I literally always say, Princess, it's whatever you want to do, though. Whatever you want to do, daddy gonna back you, even if I know that shit ain't gonna work. <laughs> you got my full support, and even when you get hurt, come on to the gym, daddy gonna fix you, and you can go back out there and try it again. So that part, you know, I, I do joke a lot about, you know, my daughter and her baby, my baby mama, but they know, like, I'm in support of whatever it is that she wants to do because I would never tell her what she can't do. Like, no, you can do it. It's just going to be a hundred times harder for you to do it because of what you're trying to do. And it sounds like you learned that, Dom, and it sounds like your sister learned that, too. And got her anus off those hurdles. <laughs> Say, you know what? I'm going to just run this straight away. Because if I fall again, I might be missing two teeth. Karma might come back around. Since, you know, I, I probably still owe two teeth to the universe. Because I took two teeth from somebody. So let me get off the hurdles. <laughs> <laughs> but not quite. Wait, okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, all right, y'all. We got enough time for about two, three more questions. And then we gotta let these ladies go, and I got to go. Um, yeah. So come on, come on with it. What time? I'm gonna get out of real time right now. It's nine twenty-three. I'm shutting this thing off in seven minutes at nine thirty. Meaning at nine twenty-eight. Seven. I am literally doing my goodbyes. So y'all got five minutes of questions for everybody that just logged on. Let's go. Five more minutes. Okay. Olympic potential. Somebody wants to know your Olympic potential. I, uh, okay. What's your Olympic potential? Do I have potential to go to the Olympics? Yeah, I guess that's 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 a weird question. 360. I, I don't know that's you... what I'm training for, so I believe so. Okay. Fireheart wants to know what's your favorite track? I got mine. You supposed to know that, Jack. You supposed to be able to come back with that. Oh, I don't know. I don't have. I don't have one. You ain't got no favorite track. You ain't got no track that just like if I get on this track, Jack. You, I'm finna run fast. You ain't got one of those. No. Yeah, mine was Home Depot. They tore it up, but that was my track. My track was Home Depot. If you put me on Home Depot, you getting this tendo. All right. <laughs> what else on here? Who does he think? Oh, that's that's a good one. Who do you think will make the hundred meter? Team for the men this year. Damn, that's a good question. They put you on the spot. The and the men. America has a great 
Great pool. Of we need three names. Up. Don't 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 do the build up. <laughs> three names. Come on Mary with it. Dom, you next. Ooh. I need three names. Come on with it. Gotta say Christian Coleman. Okay, that's one. <sighs> All right, Dom, you say one too. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Who? Fred Curly, if he chooses the hundred. Mm-hmm. Okay. 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 Mm. It's it's a toss up. Me. Ain't no toss up. You got two more spots. <laughs> oh my gosh, so many people. You put Christian Coleman in there, guys. Mm -hmm. That was her first pick. Uh, so uh, she still got to pick two more. You oh, yeah. can never doubt him. HSI. Uh, yeah. Makes sense. Um, <clears throat> Fred Curley can never doubt him either. Okay, that's two. That's two. That's two. That's two. Ain't but one more spot. You one more spot, boy. Ooh, you this is for the Olympic team inbox. or the team this year? This year. This is this year. This is Bramil. It okay, be. so Dom and gave her two. She got Fred and Trayvon. You got Fred and CC. And we one spot for both of y'all. <laughs> you know they had like a four way tie for <laughs> third place. <laughs> I was like, it could be Romel, it could be Bracey, it could be uh, the guy from Oregon. <laughs> Somebody from LSU can have up in there. <laughs> That's a safe answer. That's a safe answer right there. Hey, man, it might be a four-way tie. I don't know who's going to get that third-place spot. But I know these two going to be there. But oh, oh. Don, what's your third-place spot? Um, I'm going with my with my sister. It's a it's like a four-way tie between you got Ronnie Baker. We forgot to say him, too. Uh, mm -hmm. Ronnie going to bake him. Like, yeah. He, Ronnie going to bake him. That's his nickname, Ronnie going to bake him. <laughs> uh, you know what? I ain't going to get my three. I'm just going to go back to these questions. Then I'm going to get my three. You know who my three is? I don't get a don't. I don't know. Okay? I haven't the slightest idea. I haven't. When I say the slightest, I ain't got the slightest idea. And I ain't going to start pretending like I do. Them boys can run fast. Every last one okay. of them. I don't know who the hell going to run. I don't know. All right. Back over here, y'all. Y'all got three minutes of questions left. Who? Oh, Baker. Somebody said. Somebody said Fred Bracey Coleman. Uh, I, I could take that three. I could take Fred, Brace Coleman. I could take Fred, Coleman, Trayvon. I could take Coleman, Brace. It's just, this is the year for the men that is like, yeah. It's for the women, it ain't before, y'all. <laughs> and, and, and I'm be honest with you. I'm just calling what it is. It ain't before, y'all. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. It ain't before, y'all. You one of them, but ain't before, y'all. I know you got Hobbs in there. Ain't before, y'all. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Then what I do on the show, I keep it 100 till y'all show me anything otherwise. Ain't nobody show me no otherwise. Ain't before y'all. But all right. All right. Here we go. Your favorite Jamaican athlete, man and woman. Oh. What? Wow. <laughs> Damn. Why you? I see so many questions. Hey, look. It was just the one that popped out to me, man. I, I, see, that one. I see Makai. She, I, see I see it right, right there. I see Trooper Williams. Trooper Williamson wants to know. Your favorite Jamaican athlete, man and woman. Damn. Uh, Is it got a man? Well, I mean, I mean, well, you ain't gotta pick nobody, I guess, that you're racing now. <laughs> not allow him mercy. This is not the hookup show. <laughs> <laughs> you saying both. I'm gonna say you saying both. You, you gotta go with that. Okay, give us a female then. Give us a Jamaican. And female. I looked up to Shelly Ann growing up. There it is. There you go. There it is. Those are two good. Legends that you can be proud of saying, like, yeah, yeah, shit, these are two, these, these are two Jamaicans right here. Mm -hmm. All right, last question. Wow, answer Craig Jones' question. I'm just, I'm curious too. He just a oh, wild. Wow. You see his question? I'm not answering Craig. <laughs> <laughs> Craig Jones got my phone number. Craig Jones. Craig Jones. <laughs> <laughs> Craig, say who your favorite rapper? <laughs> hey, I. I appreciate the fact that that you have so much support on here, though. That's that's actually super, 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 yeah. super, super, super dope. Like super dope. It it shows that you definitely have a team, and by team, yeah. I'm not talking about no um your agents and coaches. No, you have an actual support group, and they in this thing deep, Jack. <laughs> deep, deep. Oh, I she's like, I don't need, I don't need <laughs> no money. Y'all see what I got? I don't need no money. I got I got support. Literally, <laughs> dope. They do look out for me too. Oh, somebody, you see what Cobzilla just asked? Give us a Netflix series to watch. 
So <laughs> the last <laughs> thing I watched on Netflix was the uh it's it's called Is It Cake? So it's like people they they design these cakes and they make these cakes that look realistic. So it'll be like a water bottle, and you have to guess: is it cake or is it an actual water bottle? And it oh, just looks dope. so realistic, like you can never tell the difference. Oh, that's dope! I might actually that's, check that one out myself. Yeah, I'm into that. So, of course, you would be because you're a gardener. Yeah, that seems like a show I would watch drunk, just so I can see like Very which much one sober. of these. Would I bite? <laughs> well, I'm I'm retired. All right, I can drink. You can, <laughs> but I can. I'm retired and I own my own gym, which means I can go to work drunk if I want to. I don't ever do it, but I'm just saying. Dumb. Before we get off of here, you give us a Netflix thing for these people to watch. Sister, sister, the sister love like the show. Sister, sister. Oh, you can't do that yet. You ahead of me. I'm looking at the comments. Damn, them people, it's raised tape. You got to wait for me to say, bring the drip out. Raised tape was I'm, I'm gonna be say, over three minutes ago. This is how I know you This how I know you don't watch raised tape for real. Because, boy, they'd have told you, like, I'm going to come on this thing. Look, I got 20 minutes, and two hours later, we still on here. All right? Ooh, you done, I got you done, to do. You don't jump the gun, all right? So you now, did. dumb, give us a Netflix something, and then I'm going to do my Briscoe shoulder drip. But she didn't give me a chance to. Dumb, give them folks something to watch on. What you watching on Netflix? Oh, sorry, guys. I'm on. Uh, I'm on Peacock right now. Peacock okay. gang. Peacock gang. Mm-hmm. Damn, right now though. You watching what? We got, we got Peacock. I have Peacock. <laughs> <laughs> I have Peacock. Are you watching Bella? I'm gonna do that next after New Amsterdam. <gasps> Oh man, Bel Air out the chain. Uh -huh. I ain't even gonna lie. That's why I'm on Peacock right now because I'm I'm on Bel Air every Thursday, Jack. That's why I gotta get home. The last episode will come out tonight. Shoot, mm -hmm. man. All right, so check it, Briscoe. Mm -hmm. So you got this thing right, but we get off here. You got this piece of jewelry, right? And it's just like I tell everybody, they come on here that got some jewelry. So uh, Cardi B can't get this. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Offset can't go nowhere and try and buy it. All right. It don't matter how many records Nikki sell. She can't get this drip. She got the Barbie. You know, she made my little diamond look like this. Say that ain't real. Because she's sitting out here, whole Barbie chain. She can't even get it. So I need you. I need you to show the people that drip that you can't buy. Show it to them. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, she's there. Oh, God. God. Ooh, put it in front of the camera. Put it in front of the camera. You, you can't buy that. It don't matter. It don't matter how much money you got. It don't. It don't matter if you Jay Z. It don't matter if you P Diddy. It. it don't matter if you Fifty Cent. It don't matter if you Will Smith slapping Chris Rock. You can't get this here, Jack. Ooh, that thing detail. Hey, turn around for him one more time. Turn around for the people. Ooh so this pattern is native to um Serbia. They make a lot of rugs and stuff with this pattern. Uh, yeah, that's all they really told me about that. Don't matter, shit. I got a medal, Jack. You can't get that. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't got to tell me that for it. I'll be just be like, hey, my name on it. Yep, that's all I, I care about. Ooh, and the time. That thing say 60 middle women. Six, <laughs> nine. <laughs> I got to get you. I just got to do that because... Because again, you. like man, like I like I started that show. Around, I wasn't supposed to PR no more. I'm trying to tell you that's why I gotta get you my your shit. I gotta get your flowers. Cause I was like, you was supposed to PR in the first round and we were supposed to come back and do it no more. And you was like, I don't even know if I know who race take is yet, but take these shots. Pop, 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 pop every round, Jack. Matter of fact, <laughs> I'm coming on your show to show you my medal. You see this? This is called every round. <laughs> 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 but thank hey. you for having me. Thank you for having my sister. Oh yeah, too. man. Listen, I, I appreciate you. Uh, like like I tell you, all y'all, man. I created this thing for y'all just so that y'all can have a voice, just so people can know who you are, get to know more about you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like like tonight we learned that you like the you you a gardener. That's that's an amazing thing people like to know. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. you're able to express how you feel. You're able to show your drip. You're able to bring your sister on. I appreciate your sister for literally like literally like taking that like oh you want me on the show click damn all right she really took that bait all right hey hey shout out to that so i appreciate you dumb for that i for sure appreciate you for that. you got a subscriber out of me too 
Oh man, I appreciate oh, that. Man. I I, I sure do appreciate that. Hey, and and let the people know, you know what I'm saying, where you at too, dumb, and where they can find you at because you did in track and field. Like you just told us, like, oh no, I was at the track meet. I worked for them. So go ahead, you know what I'm saying. Get, do your little, get your little shout out real fast, man, and tell these people how to follow you, find you, all that. Uh, I don't really want y'all follow me, but uh, <laughs> yeah. shout out to Atkins Track. Uh, people that time all the USA track and field youth meets and you track and field youth meets. That's a company my dad works for. And, um, you know, if you want a good time, get them out to your meets. Uh, I'm going to plug Atkins track. I put plug Atkins track. Yeah, plug Atkins track. Right. No hey, if y'all are, if y'all want to know anything else about Bullet Briscoe, um feel free to go to her gardening page if you want to learn some gardening tips about how to plant those th- go look at those tomatoes those yeah, tomatoes look tips, real good uh, that's the grace of god <laughs> that's a tip that's a tip right there when they come like how you do this god he gave me dirt water and said go plant all right shout out to you for that hey like um all seriousness i truly did want you on the show for a couple of reasons and I truly appreciate you coming on the show because the one thing that I'm all about is uplifting you guys. I'm all about ministry. I'm all about being positive and giving out positive energy. And more importantly, um, I like when we can showcase, as I said, as black people, when we can showcase ourselves in a different light, you know, and people can get to know us and get to know us differently. So I'm hoping that somebody watched this show and, and, and looking at you in a different aspect of more than just a, a black female athlete, you know what I'm saying? Like more than just somebody who's on the TV, you know, and, and that's why I just commend you. And and like I say, I really wanted you on, on the show because I feel like I'm always having males on the show, first of all. And I feel like I'm always having, you know, just male sprinters on the show. And I've always wanted to have female sprinters on the show. I've always wanted to have y'all come on and, and, you know, do this, like let go and then have fun or whatever. So I, I truly appreciate that. And I, I truly am proud of you for what you did. You know, like I say, when you can make somebody like me a believer and my thing is to critique and be the hardest person ever. Hey, hats off to you for that. So I got to give you your flowers. Um, mm-hmm. I appreciate you. I, I, I'm i praying for you going forward. And like I tell everybody, the minute you show your face on Ray's Take, you are a fan of mine no matter what. Anytime you run, you got my support. You got my prayers. I'm going to be jumping up and down for you. You don't have to worry about that no more. So, uh, like I say, I appreciate you. I appreciate your sister. And this floor is yours whenever you want to use it, which means you have to come back on the show again. (laughs) We don't want you back on the show until it's time to talk about something else, which is like when you go out there and probably go ahead and open up like 10-8. You do that, you on the show, Jack. You gonna be I'm off. <laughs> hey, hey, well, yeah, I ain't got time for this. Gonna come on my goddamn show today. So, <laughs> hey, I'm gonna let y'all go. Per usual, my show ran way longer than it always supposed to. It was almost over a 45 minute show that started at 7:40. It's now 9:40. That's a two hour show. Um, we appreciate. We're really at an hour and 53 minutes. We appreciate y'all. I just want to say thank you to everybody in the comments that's been supporting me too, because I know I don't reply to everything that you say, but. I know there was people that was uh, that had my back and stuff, so I appreciate all of y'all that <laughs> stood up for me. And I know I just had to do the work on the track, but thank you because they don't know me, but they still support me, so I appreciate that a lot. Listen, listen, I'm be honest with you. They made me have to start paying attention to you because the support that you have is unreal. And I'm just gonna be, I'm gonna put it out there like everybody got support, but the support that they got for you is like, damn, like. I almost really like, who the hell is she? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, okay, that's who she is. And now just, just you being on the show and showcasing your light, I understand why you had so much support. And like I say, you got a, you got a big brother fan in me. Don't even have to worry about that. So I'm going to let y'all go. Uh, Plant some, plant some peppers in the garden for me. Gotcha. It'll be the on the page. Kaya the Gardener. Kyle the God, y'all go follow Kyle the Gardener because I just follow her because I don't I don't follow nobody. I ain't following but like five people on race taking now. Kyle, your yeah, your garden is like I'm not following you. Like I really only got like I only follow like you might be number four. I don't follow nobody on race take. Wow. Yeah, I mean, I mean I don't want to lie before I let y'all get out here, but let me see. I think you might have made the cut, and it ain't but like you, and that's it. 
Thank hey, you. so y'all make sure y'all go follow her too, because I'm gonna get off here for real. Cause Track World News is waiting on me. But All I don't right, want. Yeah. I, I need uh, to go cook dinner. It's kind of late. Yeah, it, it's nine forty at night. So, oh yeah, I'm following six people, and yeah, you are now one of them. For well, the gardening, the gardening place is one of them. The garden, I really like your garden page. I really do. So, I'm thank you. More to, yep. come, more to come. More to come. Yeah, more to come. Hey, we love y'all. We hope to see y'all back. Dumb, you are more than welcome to come back on the show too. Hey, y'all, if y'all got any more questions about this lady, y'all know where to go find her at. Go find her right now. If you're not already following her, you're dumb. Okay, so go do that. Um, all right, y'all, we out of here. Another raise take. Um, peace. Peace, y'all. See, thank you. You are so very welcome. <laughs> it was fun.